My name is Dr. Christine mckinney Zee, and I'm a veterinary dermatologist. I grew up in Texas and graduated from the University of Texas at Austin in 2004 with a degree in finance. I found my passion for medicine in my mid-20s when my father had a personal health crisis. Being in that hospital environment just reminded me of my deep love of the sciences, and so back to school I went. I specifically chose veterinary medicine because I wanted to speak for those who couldn't speak for themselves, to advocate for a truly vulnerable population. So in 2013, I graduated from the Louisiana State University School of Veterinary Medicine. I stayed at LSU for an additional year to complete a rotating internship in companion animal medicine and surgery. And then following that, moved north for a three-year residency in veterinary dermatology at Tufts University. I've been in private practice in the New England area ever since. And as of August 1st, opened my own practice, Dermatology at Pet Medic in Watertown, Massachusetts. A typical day for me starts with an extra large coconut milk latte, followed by running an outpatient dermatology service. I mostly treat dogs and cats and exclusively treat diseases of the skin, hair coat, ears, foot pads, nose, and claws. Most of my day is spent examining these guys, collecting samples, analyzing them under the microscope, performing other diagnostics, and then designing treatment plans with the owners. I also do some outpatient procedures like deep endoscopic ear cleanings and flushes of ears, skin biopsies, and intradermal allergy testing. Opening my own practice was my response to the mental health crisis that's plaguing my profession. Veterinarians are constantly asked to do more with less. We take on educational debt that's disproportionately large to the anticipated salaries for our field. We often have to make really hard decisions about treating our patients based on the owner's finances or personal values, sometimes which are in direct conflict with what medically is best for that pet. As vets, we want to save every animal. We want to help every animal. And sometimes it's just not possible. And so we bear this large emotional burden that comes with treating our particular patients. Sadly, the convergence of these factors has led to a crisis of suicide in my profession. Female veterinarians are three and a half times as likely as the average woman in the U.S. to die by suicide and male vets are about twice as likely. This hit super close to home for me last fall when we lost one of my classmates to suicide. I also watched a technician who'd been in the field for 20 years walk away from it because she was having suicidal thoughts related to the job. Opening this practice is my response. Over the next five, 10, 15 years, I wanna be a model for veterinary medicine of prioritizing mental health and well-being in the workplace. I wanna show my profession that we can do better. We can offer the best medical care to our patients and still care for ourselves. Figs, this grant would be life-changing. It would give me the mental and emotional space as well as the financial ability to focus more on these passion projects, to increase my social media presence, to take on more speaking engagements and teaching opportunities, and to generally spread awareness. Being a vet's tough some days. It just is. But my patients inspire and motivate me every single day with their unbridled joy and unconditional love. To have an owner come back and tell you that the cat that was scratching itself bloody is finally healing or that dog that was so smelly with his infections can finally be a part of the family again. I mean, nothing beats that feeling. All of the cuddles and nose boobs and cute selfies are just gravy. Veterinary dermatology is truly quality of life medicine. I love my job and I recognize how lucky I am to do it every day. And the fact that I can speak for these patients and know that I made their daily life better in some way is a tremendous gift. So thank you Figs for your consideration and giving me the opportunity to speak on something really close to my heart. Take care.